Still your birthday there? So yes, <laughs> All right, we'll today. All right, thanks. <laughs> All right, we're ready when you're ready. Thank you, thank you. Kyle? Hey, D, um, I know you were talking to Mike about this a little bit in, in the walk-off, but um, I was wondering if maybe you could go a, a little more on, on Rondo and what it was like to, to face him in, as an opponent. I guess there was a play that you guys ran to specifically to trip him up. No, I, I mean, it wasn't specifically to trip him up. I think we just, you know, called a play. I think it was after a timeout, um, ATL play. And, you know, I mean, that was here last year, so. He know of our plays and know our system and everything like that. And he's very good at scouting the other team um, plays and, and players and things like that. So, <clears throat> you know, we ran a play and uh, put him in some action. And then we, and we ended up getting a dunk off of it. Um, uh, I'm sorry, a foul. And I told him, uh, I was yelling at the, off, the, off the free throw line. Well, I was on the bench, but I was yelling to him um, and told him, you haven't seen that one. I said, that's something new. You haven't seen that. We started laughing. We were laughing. So um, that was a cool moment. Ben? AD, um, you, you guys uh, have had really, really successful runs at the start of fourth quarter from that group with LeBron, uh, Trez, Caruso, Harrell. Um, or I said Harrell. I'm sorry. THT. You know which lineup I'm talking about. Whatever. It's a lot of guys. I don't want to read all the names. Um, what, why do you think that group's working so well? What have, what have you seen on the bench in those stretches um, from that five? Um, the group plays hard. Uh, they're scrappy defensively. Uh, everyone does their jobs. Um, you know, and then the start of fourth, we always got the bench saying, okay, fourth quarter is winning time when, when it's close games or, you know, we might be down or anything like that. And they do come in and make great plays to start the fourth for us to get us going. And I think tonight – we went on 11 over on or something like that to start the fourth. It was able to get the lead and um, kind of maintain that. So uh, that, that group is a special group. Um, and, you know, it's our job to, you know, come in when that group does its job to to finish finish it off for them and, and secure the victory. So, you know, that, that line I would, like you said, Taylor, Braun, Trez, um, AC, uh, and sometimes Kuz, Kuz might be in there. Um, you know, to, to start that fourth quarter has been a great lineup for us so far this year. Dave? Eddie, LeBron said he loves having fans at the games, um, but I guess having fans at the game could lead to something like that happening in the fourth quarter there. What's your take on it? Uh, is, is it worth the risk of having stuff like that while the COVID protocol is going on to have fans in, in the stands? And uh, did you have any uh, thoughts on that uh, brief altercation? Yeah, it's, you know, one more incident is not going to, you know, change the fact that, you know, we love having fans at the game. Um, you know, whether we're home or away, it just brings back, um, you know, the game that we love, that that joy from the fans and the support and things like that. So um, it's, it's always fun to, you know, whether it's 500 people or 1,000, 1,500, whatever it is, you know, it's always enjoyable to play in front of, you know, a crowd. Um, about what happened, uh I wasn't even, I don't even think I was in the game yet. Um, I just saw Bron talking, you know, to somebody course side and they were talking back. Um, so I'm not sure what exactly happened um, at the time. And when I walked over there, the coach, I mean the coach, the, uh, the referees was already, you know, kind of separating and take care of it. So I'm not sure what she said or what he said or anything like that. But um, I know, he, you know they were talking about, you know, her mask is off to, to speak or something like that, you know, which with COVID going on, we, we obviously can't have that. Um, you know, we want to make sure we always be safe. So um, it was a crazy little thing, but uh, you know, she happens. Uh, we'll take a couple more. Uh, ben Steiner. Hey, Anthony, uh, congrats on the win. Trey Young, you've gone up for years now. You know, what have you liked about the growth of his game? Um, he's a crafty player. He, he's very good at drawing fouls, can shoot the ball at the basketball um, with range. Um, great free throw shooter. He got a nice floater in the paint. Um, so he, he's tough to guard and he's small. So he, he's always, you know, getting around, you know, defenders or, you know, um, you know, getting the, in the middle of defenses and, and picking guys off. Um, you know, but he, he, he's a special player in his league. And, um, you know, he's been doing it for a couple of years now. Real Thomas. 
Uh, AD, congrats on the win this evening. You guys, of course, are coming off of a long road trip. A lot of new pieces as you look to try to repeat this season. So you, some some of your teammates are still getting acclimated. What do you feel like you learned learned most about your team during this road trip? Uh, we're a team that's gonna fight. Um, we're a resilient team. You know, being down in, in Philly, coming back, fighting. Um, we're gonna get every team's best shot. And so I think we 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 show our resiliency this trip, and we also show how together we are. Um, while we still learn each other, not having enough a lot of practice time, short off season, um, short in training camp. You know, we're still trying to figure you know each other out and figure out um, you know how to continue to to grow as a team um, without while also you know saving our legs and things like that. But I think we we showed that we're we're a complete team. We showed that we're very together. Um, on the floor and uh, we showed our resiliency. You know, we're gonna to continue to fight, we're gonna to continue to battle and um, you know, we're still learning on the fly while we're getting wins, which is a good thing. Thank you. Last, last question, Tony DeVille. Hey, D, um, mm-hmm. you play with uh, Rondo, uh, you know, in New Orleans and here in LA and uh, you know how he is. Everyone knows he has a reputation of being a player's coach, a, co- a coach on the floor. Uh, not sure how much longer he's going to play, but can you see him being a head coach after he's done, you know, playing and uh, and being a coach going forward? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's always his his dream is to be a coach. Um, at the NBA Top 100 camp, he he coaches. Um, you know, he's a coach on the floor. Even when he's not playing, you know, he, he's coaching. Um, you know, last year it was, you know, practice he was coaching you know during the game he's coaching on the floor he's coaching you know he's always learning he's watching film so I, I can definitely see him being the head coach um I think that's what he wants to do uh, he wants to coach and uh he'll make one hell of a coach you know he, he knows the game very well his IQ is, is unbelievable it's very high um and and you know he gets along with a lot of players you know he, he know how to talk to players and um he know who he can be more aggressive with who he has to you know you know, kind of just take it easy on, just kind of, mm-hmm. you know, tell him, tell him things. But um, I think he, he's going to be a great coach in this league if that's what he, you know, end up doing, which I think he will.